Hello there. I'm Trevor. And I'm Jessica. And today on Somewhere in the Middle, we're here at Bolsa Chica Beach. Bolsa Chica Beach is one of our favorite beaches. We raised our children, our four kids in this park or at this beach. We're here with three of them today. Jess and I are doing our normal start to the day, which is uh, take a walk on the beach. Yep. Let's go check this beach out. Today at Bolsa Chica Beach, uh, it's more of a nature beach. If you saw the Laguna Beach episode, then if you haven't, check it out. Um, it was more of a social beach. This is more of a nature beach. We come here to relax and uh, spend some quality time with the family, kind of get a break from the party scene and the city scene. There's no shops or boardwalk to go walk on. This is just expanse of beach, expanses of sand, longer beach. Um, the water is different here for swimming, but it is a beautiful beach. We've always loved to come in here. And of course, you know, they all have lifeguard stations, so there's always a safe place to swim if you're not a good swimmer. Um, but Bolsa Chica is a little bit more um, for the nature lover, I feel, because you do have the water reservation right across the way where they have, um, it's a bird and stingray actual uh, conservation area. And the stingrays actually give birth out there in that bay and then they come swim in this way and there's a little bit of a, what do you call it, little dips before you get out to flat area and that's where they come and swim out. So you do have to be careful. We do a called the uh, stingray shuffle. Stingray shuffle. You do not go plumping into the water. You have to move your feet back and forth and kick the sand. That way they run away from you if they are here. Or you might get stung. Or you could get stung and then you'll spend a couple hours in the lifeguard station soaking your feet in hot water. Or someone peeing on them. No, that's a jellyfish. <laughs> Doesn't work. We don't have jellyfish problem here. Just I think, gray. what, two of our kids, two out of the four have been stung? Yeah, I've never been stung. Me either. Yeah, two, Knock on. Two of our kids have been, so. Knock on wood. Yeah, and I've been coming to these beaches since I was a little girl, so. For some people, that is, uh, they hear the stingray thing and then they get all scared because, you know, the ocean is the ocean and people are afraid of the ocean. And you should go to Laguna Beach if that's the case. Watch my Laguna Beach episode. You'll see it's a whole different experience. And it's only another maybe half hour uh, south of here. So it's just a half hour south, you start getting into those hills and there's rocks and the little beautiful little coves like you saw at Laguna. Um, so yeah, it's a totally different beach experience. I feel like if you're, if you're a little scared of the, the animals that live here, then you go to that beach. A little bit safer. Huntington, Newport as well, which we haven't been, or we've been plenty, but uh, no episodes as of yet at those beaches. I would also add that we have a lot of beginning surfing here. Yeah, I have surfing schools. Surfing schools are going to come. Lifeguard schools, maybe. Some workout places are going to come because, again, you have a very large beach. Yeah give you guys a shot of this. I mean, this is a wide open space. And if I'm doing training, I've seen in the past, people will do sit-ups, push-ups, you know, all kinds of core workouts out here and then run down into the water, of course. But yeah, you can see this beach is not that packed right here. We're walking, of course, up beach and are starting to move a little bit outside of the parking lots area but still wide open beach jess and i love to come and do our walks here and the swimming is pretty nice here the waves can get pretty big when the tide comes in in the morning and in the evening that's when surfers usually are out the most because that's when the waves are the best the middle of the day the beach is really nice and mellow there's a lot of little kids here it's very flat especially on this um north end of Bolsa Chica. The further south you go, you start getting into that bigger ditch, which continues into Huntington. So, so yeah, so the north end is where I'd recommend if you have little ones to go. And you just got this nice, beautiful, flat beach to swim on. And it's lovely. You can smell the beach in the air. My mom asked me to bring a bottle and fill the air, fill the air up for her, which I didn't do. This is also a I really good beach for sandcastles. Yep, she's been uh, making sandcastles on this beach for ages. Sand sculpture sometimes, just okay. depends on the day. At least 25 years. So our oldest is 25 and our youngest is 16. And uh, yeah. Ooh, we may have to try and find that image of Felcor. I made Felcor on the cliff here once. Man, I'm turning 46, I'm getting old. Time flies, as Ferris Bueller once said. Life moves pretty fast. You don't stop and look around once in a while. 
you could miss it. And I think that's a good point to segue again into what our vlog is about. Somewhere in the middle. We're in the middle of our life, in the middle of our marriage, in the middle of raising our children. Even though know, most of them are adults now, that doesn't change. They still need us. And again, we're exploring where we're at with you guys. Hope you enjoy. Where you going, birds? Chase of the water. Sand crab, it's sand crab, get it, get it, get the sand crab, hurry, 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 that's the way, better run. <laughs> Those little lakes move so fast, so cute. Reminds me of the Pixar short hyper. <laughs> One thing nice about Bolsa Chica Beach is the water is warm. And that does play into what we were just talking about, the stingrays, they like they like the warm water. It's, it's nice for everyone to play in. The kids like to play in it. You don't get too cold throughout the day. Certain parts of California, of course, depending on the weather, the beach can get very cold and people are you know, wearing wetsuits and whatnot here. Again, this is, this is warm, warm days, warm beach. Let's see here, Long Beach, Long Beach, Long Beach. There's Long Beach, see? There's Long Beach. Peeking out over the side there, you can see Palace Verdes. Way off in the distance, can't really see it. Kind of leaning out there somewhere. Good place to go camping. But although that's a that's a heck, a heck of a trip to plan everything, because you gotta take a boat out there to camp. And then everything, you've got to bring it because anything you're going to buy on the island, it's going to cost double or triple the cost. There's things to collect here. A lot of like pieces of the coral that break off and come out this way. Little sea creatures that live in there leave these like little tubes and holes in them. But then you'll find a lot of seashells. This one even has a little hole right there in the top. I could make a necklace out of that one if I wanted to. And then these ones are so pretty. I love these. You see wind chimes made out of these seashells. So yeah, but I try, you know, if I do collect them, I use them in my sand sculpture, and then I still leave them on the beach. Because if we all took everything that we found, there'd be nothing left. So always return it, collect it for fun, and then return it. Produce, reuse, recycle. Don't take away from nature, you know? Uh, a rule of thumb that we like to operate on when we come to anything in nature is generally don't leave anything and take something away. Meaning, not, not something of nature but some trash or something that someone else left yeah usually i start my beach day with a bag an empty bag and i fill the trash along my walk so therefore i'm giving back to the beach before i take from it i help clean it you know because we'll do this but this beach honestly it's very clean i have seen a little bit of trash but honestly i think i would have a hard time right now filling up a bag which is a lovely thing to see that's yeah, nice it's definitely uh when you go out in the nature leave no trace as my mom taught me leave it looking better than you found it yeah that's not that hard of a rule of thumb, especially in nature. Anyways, we're going to continue on our walk. Getting our exercise. Got to get your exercise. Walking is really good exercise. Although we're not really we're just strolling. But, but we're walking. That's good. Some people don't even do that. <laughs> Some people don't even do that. Yeah. Mine, 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 mine. And this is Sunset Beach. A little bit further up. This is more of a private beach. 
Not really private, but it's public, but it's no big public parking. Yeah. You gotta find parking in the in between all the houses. Back over there is where we're staying. It's at Ols Chiga. But again, this is Sunset Beach. A lot of cute houses in Sunset Beach. Yeah. But this is like Jess just said, you gotta find street parking. Which isn't that big of a deal. A lot of beaches are that way. Huntington Beach, etc. Love to Airbnb at one of these places. Yeah, that would be nice. Turbo, one of those things. Yeah, that would be cool. The squad. We're watching the set. Watching the set. Looking for some fish. That's good. I did the live guys. This is like Baywatch. Do 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 do. Yeah, man. I got a berm. It feels like the beach is breaking two ways. Cool. Kind of on like a roundabout. We walked about as far as we're going to walk, at least north. You can see in the distance up there, still Sunset Beach, I want to say. Yeah. That water tower place used to be a rental. I think someone lives in it now. Long Beach off in the distance still. There's Long Beach. Ship. Bring in all your goods for all your Amazon buys. Nice walk north. Now we're going to do the same thing but backwards. Yep. We're going to walk back to where we're, our campsite, where our campsite, our beach side, or where we're staying, where our, our pit, our fire pit. Because yep. we're going to have a fire tonight. Yep. Woo Speaking of fire, as usual, I'm ready for some snacks. <laughs> Snack time. I've worked up an appetite. I'm ready. I've You've worked up an appetite. I got some ribs waiting for me back at the at the camp. I got some cervezas waiting back for me. All kinds of other stuff. We're ready. See this sea creature? It's not really a sea creature. It's seaweed. It's a root from a seaweed plant. We have a lot of kelp beds on. Look how big it is. You can eat it. I've never done that, but it's yummy. They are very large. They ate it on a loan. Not slimy either. This is for all of our feet people. Just you pop it if you wanted to. Just kidding. Oh yeah. It pop actually it. floats. Pop it. Oh. <laughs> Let it out. But yeah, that's why it floats onto the beach. Now it's dead. She just killed the sea worm. It's just not a sea worm. Look how long that root is. I mean, that's a really long root. So we got some beautiful kelp beds out there. When I was a kid, I used to use those as like Indiana Jones. It's like a little whip. You whip people with it. They get real mad at you. Yeah. Teenage boys can be jerks. So let's pull the, the audience. You guys want to see us go to Catalina? Do some, been a while. Been a while. Well, we've never filmed it there, but well. No, never filmed it. I've been to Catalina my whole life a couple different times. But also, it'd be fun to watch, been a while. watch me get really scared when I get in a kayak. I always fall. I always flip over. I will be sure to film that. I'm not very buoyant. Even as big as I am. I'd say you're buoyant. It's just the balance in a I don't have balance. buoyant vehicle. I don't have the best balance in a buoyant. You're good on a jet ski. Well, yeah, I'm fine on a jet ski. That's, let's go. Jet skiing all day. Put me in a kayak. Ah. I love kayaks. A big raft, though, I'm better in. Big raft, like we've done the big, you know, six-seaters or whatever, eight-seater rafts. Those are better. But yeah. anywho. Water sports. Water. Should we go to Catalina? What do you think? We should go to Catalina. I think we should. We could do the 
golf cart thing there. There's all kinds of fun stuff to do in Catalina. See some buffalo or bison? Yeah, there's some bison still out there. Yeah. So, anyways, at some point in the near future, that episode's coming, I guess. Unless, of course, everyone says, no, we don't want to see you there. <laughs> Even then, you don't have to watch that episode, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Clouds and sky coverage today is amazing. You see the blue coming in. Cloud coverage most of the day. A little gray, obviously. But, sorry. Makes for a, a nice day. Don't feel too hot in the sun. Might get sunburned because of overcast, but... My car out having fun. Looks like more so than getting goofing around. But having fun out there on the disc. Thought he was out like telling people can't go too close. It might be a. It might be. I guess for lack of a better term, policing how far you go out, regulating. But I know at times I like to go out. I've always liked uh, going out a little deep in the ocean, get as far out as I can, swimming. There he goes again, goofing around a little bit, taking the water and riding the wave a little bit, having fun on the desk heat. You can see just wading in the water. Like a ding a ling, I have my keys in my pocket, so I'll be out in the water doing it right now. But oh, whoa. right. That's what reminds me of the HBO show, uh, the Big Wave show, the HBO Big Wave show. The guys that are out there helping the surfers, right? Those big waves, tow them in and pick them up so that they don't get swallowed alive. We'll see lots of people out here fishing. Obviously, if you're gonna swim, like this kid right here, might wanna make sure you stay away from your friend. Don't get a hook in ya. What are people landing? I don't really know what kind of fish. I never really stick around and watch. Personally, I wouldn't be too big on eating fish right off the shore break like this, just cause you're not gonna get very thing, anything all that big. It may just be more for the sport of it. I prefer when I'm at the beach to swim, to soak in the sun eat food, just relax, have a good beach day. At least that's my interpretation of a beach day. Plenty of other people have other interpretations. Oh, oh yeah, one other thing has to be done on a beach day. Frisbee. So today we are contemplating changing our normal beach day because for one, we lost our family vehicle that we used to have, have for these kinds of expeditions, like uh, my expedition, her name was Sandy. Uh, unfortunately, she, Seized. Yes, she's she's done. And so now uh, we have a small check the oil car. in your car, okay? Yeah. Make sure you fill up the oil in your I'll car. Check the oil hey in kids, the car. do the same. Young adults with new cars or new to driving. Check your oil. Yes, very important. Um, however, uh, so we have a smaller car now. It's more of a commuter car, not necessarily like a camping car. Sandy went everywhere with us camping all over the place. So we were like, how is this gonna work? Can we take what we used to take? We used to come all day, we had the expedition, we had an extra basket on it, right? 
we were like, well, maybe we should change our beach day. Maybe we should do more like Laguna. We've seen the Laguna episode. Like it's a, it's more casual. You don't have to bring as much stuff. You can't even bring an easy up there. And I thought, well, maybe this is what the young kids this is what they want. And surprisingly, what did they say when I said, uh, let's go to Laguna? Laguna? No, we're going to Bolsa Chica. That's where we go. That's where we raised bringing right. them. So. And so they wanted the, the good old fashioned family beach day. And luckily, um, even my four door sedan, as crappy as it may be, has a big trunk. It's got a huge trunk. Yeah, we were able to fit everything in All our junk home. got in the trunk. Yes, we did get all our junk in the trunk. We did have to ride with a, a guitar between someone's legs. <laughs> Um, hopefully on the way home after the firewood. Maybe you'll see gone, that photo. We'll be able to, uh, you know, uh, make it back more comfortably. But, you know, still, uh, the fact that the kids were raised here, coming to the beach all day, and the fact that they still want to come out here in their 20s with us, and even get the traditional foods. Like, they're like, we got to go to the grocery store and get the traditional foods. Because we thought, well, should we just stop and get a sandwich? I don't know, you know. Except Dad broke the tradition. He did. I How got, did you get strawberries? I got strawberry on Crestables. We always got grape uncrustables. Frozen grape uncrustables are one of the best snacks. Strawberry's better. But I do like strawberry. It just was threw us all off when we saw the red package instead of purple. So, speaking of uncrustables, let's go eat. I'm ready for a snack. Why are you kicking sand? Look at it. Crumble City? You gotta get it wetter. I got it so wet, but it like, come on. It just tumbled, I put it, it was too heavy. You made a tunnel? It's a full on tunnel. And it goes from, well, the connects, tunnel connects, so. Connecting, well that's what a tunnel is, right? Yeah. <laughs> the tunnel connects. <laughs> If you didn't, son, it's not a tunnel run. No, it's, it's a just, cave. It's like a cave. Well, you know, oh, cave. cave. Y'all ever thought about how birds are always giving you side eye? Which left the kids two no. less, two no, left for you. Already up. Beach idea: Let's go to the grocery store, get food ready, pre-made. Pre Cheaper probably to make it from home to scratch, but they're good. Oh, oh, oh. back to the others. Trash for later that can burn. Look at them rip apart like that. <laughs> Pan? Mm. Nice and tender. Pretty good for. Pretty good for. Uh, I'll grab a go. Yeah, I think they were 14 bucks for a full rack. So, two best chips on the planet, kettle, jalapeno, just so you guys know, it's called jalapeno, not jalapeno, jalapeno. And Luau barbecue, sweet and spicy. When it's our family on the islands. And way in the distance. Now, you can clearly see the ship.
one thing about Bolsa Chica Beach, and I'm sure you can hear it right now on the microphone. Did not bring a lab mic, but hey. Wind! It's windy. Families are packing up because it's windy. And Mason strums the guitar. It's all going in the vlog. She's beachy, and I'm beaching too. I'm full beach mode. Look at her beach. Our, our hot dogs on there. I don't want to eat ashy dashies. What's going on? It's, also, it's not always an animal product. It's like my <laughs> don't touch the product. Oh don't I'm touch two non vegan failures right now. <laughs> don't touch it. First aid and now mom. I want to drink it on no, purpose. Okay. I'm not a <laughs> I'm not saying you're a failure, you made a failure. <laughs> we all fail sometimes in life, it's okay. We all fail. Touch your weenie to the fire. This is actually hot dog on a stick. Uh, it's the... What? Hebrew National, two times the size and quarter pounder. Two times the size? I didn't want him to fall off the stick. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, did you see the wind? So yeah, these are amazing. And all I gotta say is Farmer John, he ain't got nothing on. Hebrew National. Dude, look at those clouds. Holy moly, that is majestic. Hey family, get over here please. You don't get many of these. Sunset. Oh. Look at that piercing red, beautiful golden sky ahead of, above us. That's just two. Just two. <laughs> I think, Tom. Um, we talk about beautiful skies. 
Yeah, I want you to back up though, because we're gonna lose it. <laughs> Aiden, let's go wrap it up. The sun is piercing. We're about to hit sunset. Look oh, at that. You can see it. Oh, he's taking a freaking oh, picture. Instead, oh, instead of getting into this. Holy Look at that. Step <laughs> in. <laughs> He's like, let me show you the sunset. <laughs> we love family. All right, ready? Oh my gosh. These guys. I'm filming. Do you press the button to take the picture? Do you see that it's in a minute 33? Okay, but you can take a snapshot, so you also have the photo. Okay. The video. All right. Well, that's harder to push. Oh, hold on. Okay, one, two. <laughs> Stop shaking. <laughs> Why are you jiggling me? Sunset's happening. You see it one more time. Beautiful. Summer's at the beach with your family. Never get old. Everybody looks a little glowy. Look at him take a picture of over. Oh, <laughs> double, double pics. I love it. End of the video.